Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to what the fuck is that? Let's play Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Trying to flee the fiend. Fiend. Fiend the scarce ones. No, really. I would expect it to be cursed. Relicts. Yeah. So some um, Devin Bathfall and Relict Oil. It regenerates so fast. Not sure. Huh. That was weird. The swallow regenerates also. No. Alright, I'm not sure why Ken was regenerated so fast, but I uh, will take it anyway. Or is the other potion? Is dead. Missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. They're probably all dead. Go that way. Roll. Drop and roll. Hmm. What the hell is this guy? Oh, right. Don't have come this way then. Alright. The other way. What is the sound? Or foglets. That's the wrong thing. Above. Wow, what the... what did you do? How the hell will I get up there? Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've you will die, you know it. That... Oh. Ah. Ah. Yep. Dead. Damn. <laughs> of course. Of course. What a way to go. You got them idiots. I will go and tell them, well, your friends are dead. Don't believe you. Kill them or something. How the hell did you drop like that? Jesus. Lighthouse seems kinda broken. Get in. Thank you. Alright. Go faster. Well, that guy is alive so far. <laughs> a fat lock in the arse. 
Oh, nice. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What? What's happening? Who? Who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even Wonder slept away. through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I guys. Epilepsy, meaning, uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Don't seem legit. I wonder if he's having some sort of vision or something. Alright. Uh, use this. Yeah, damn it. All right, I'm up. Move. No much about this isle. Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Ah, so he also suspects something weird. One of you guys are there. I just, you know, do that. Yeah, and that sound. What is that sound? Let me check where the hell I'm going. That way. The other road. Come on. Let's go. Come then. Where is he going? Escort missions, no one likes them. I um, don't think there was ever anyone who said, oh god damn, yeah. An escort mission, that's what I wanted. Ever. No one said that, ever, developers. Let's 
stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Why why do wake? Come on, keep moving. Bundle not. So what has it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Well, I'm getting some good materials at least. Alrighty. Brought you your friend. Ah, right, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> That's fine. Stand back. I'm opening the door. Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit! Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. I doubt that. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. I really doubt that. That is some sort of vision then. There's no way she is dead. No way in hell. Yeah, it's bullshit. Don't believe it. There we go. Alrighty. Awesomeness. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never ever forgets to care for his blade. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? So they are running from something. So he needs to bring an army. Uh. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. Where well, didn't you? So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. 
I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So I'm asking everything. Man like Orson Jr. You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. Why not Tris? I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was well. desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? 
Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin, on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, there's a nice uh, sequence. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Well, crap. Ow. Get us out of here. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. All right. That was pretty sweet. Fuck those dwarves, though. Good portal. <laughs> Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. <laughs> wow, that look. They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Alrighty, the awkwardness. Damn, it's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to... I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? Sure. Uh. Long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm-hmm. The bed. It, uh, <laughs> broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out high and... <clears throat> Ahem. <laughs> 
Alright. Alright. Wow. Yeah. Again, three levels. What the hell? Wow. Okay. Don't have enough points for it though. Jesus Christ, this is all really so good. Ah, oh, this is nice, but two percent. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that one. How could I put it though? I guess there. Doesn't matter. Mutant. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, damn. So now I need to check out my other. Yeah, the. Um, level 30 gear. Level 29, I guess. It's, it's somewhere in the chest. I will need to see if I can upgrade uh, the rest of that. Where is that off? Oh, that's kind of broken. Armor. On. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I will end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more Witcher 3 Wild Hunt.